In the vast and treacherous seas of the One Piece universe, power comes in many forms, but none are as mysterious, coveted, and game-changing as the legendary Devil Fruits. These mystical fruits grant their consumers extraordinary abilities, at the high cost of their ability to swim. But for those brave enough to take the plunge, the rewards can be earth-shattering. Imagine being able to control darkness itself, move at the speed of light, or even manipulate the very fabric of space within your reach. These aren't just flights of fancy, they're the reality for those who've consumed the most powerful devil fruits in existence. From the depths of the ocean to the highest echelons of world government, these fruits have shaped the destiny of the One Piece world. In this exploration of otherworldly power, we dive deep into the top five devil fruits that have left an indelible mark on the series. These aren't just tools of war or convenience. They're the key players in a grand tapestry of adventure, ambition, and the never-ending quest for the One Piece itself. Prepare to be amazed, for these fruits don't just bend the rules of reality, they shatter them completely. So, take a seat, smash that like button if you love One Piece analysis videos and want to see more, and join our Nakama by subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you never miss an update. Without further ado, let's jump into the ridiculous world of devil fruits in One Piece. Number 5. Blackbeard's Yami Yami no Mi, The Fruit That Devours All What if darkness was not just the absence of light, but a force that could swallow everything, even other devil fruit powers? Enter the realm of Marshall D. Teaches, Yami Yami no Mi. Picture a darkness so profound, it swallows light itself. This is the terrifying power of the Yami Yami no Mi, dark dark fruit, wielded by the infamous Marshall D. Teach, better known as Blackbeard. This Logia-type devil fruit doesn't just control darkness, it commands it, bending shadows to Blackbeard's will in ways that defy the very laws of nature. Imagine standing before Blackbeard as he extends his hand, palm outstretched. Suddenly, you feel an irresistible pull, as if the very fabric of space is folding around you. This is the Yami. Yami no Mi's gravitational mastery at work, a force so potent it can draw in everything from physical objects to other devil fruit users' powers, rendering them helpless. But the true terror of this fruit lies in its unique ability to nullify other devil fruit powers upon contact. Picture the shock on an opponent's face as their seemingly invincible abilities vanish with a mere touch from Blackbeard. In a world where devil fruit powers often determine the course of battle, this nullification ability is nothing short of revolutionary. The Yami Yami no Mi doesn't stop at defense, though. Blackbeard can unleash devastating offensive attacks, creating swirling vortexes of darkness that crush everything in their path. Imagine entire islands being swallowed by pitch-black whirlpools, leaving nothing but destruction in their wake. Yet this fruit comes with a cruel irony. Unlike other Logia users who can become intangible, Blackbeard's darkness absorbs all, including pain. Each punch, each slash, each attack is felt with excruciating clarity, making him both invincible and perpetually vulnerable. Blackbeard's mastery of this fruit, combined with his audacious acquisition of Whitebeard's Gura Gura no Mi, has propelled him to the status of a Yonko. In his hands, the power of darkness has become a force that threatens to engulf the entire One Piece world in shadow. As Blackbeard's power grows, one can't help but wonder, is there a limit to what his darkness can consume? And what happens to those abilities once they're absorbed into his void? Number 4. Admiral Kazaru's Pika Pika no Mi, illuminating the boundaries of speed. Can you outrun light itself? In the world of One Piece, one man embodies this seemingly impossible feat. Imagine a being of pure light, moving so fast that the world around them seems to stand still. This is the awe-inspiring power of the Pika Pika no Mi, glint glint fruit, wielded by the Navy Admiral Borsalino, better known as Kizaru. This Logia-type devil fruit doesn't just control light, it transforms its user into light itself, granting abilities that push the very limits of physics. Picture Kizaru in battle, his body dissolving into a dazzling array of photons. In the blink of an eye, he vanishes, only to reappear across the battlefield, leaving bewildered opponents in his wake. This is the fruit's most famous power, movement at the speed of light. It's not just about velocity, it's about redefining the very concept of distance in combat. But Kizaru's powers go far beyond mere transportation. Envision beams of concentrated light erupting from his fingertips, each one carrying the destructive force of a laser. These beams slice through steel, stone, and flesh with equal ease, turning the battlefield into a deadly light show. And when Kizaru unleashes his Yasakani no Magatama, the sky rains down with countless light particles, 
each one a miniature bomb that can decimate entire areas. The versatility of the Pika Pika no Mi is truly mind-boggling. Picture Kizaru forming a sword of pure light, the Ama no Murakumo, its edge so sharp it can cut through almost anything. Or imagine him creating dazzling clones of light, confusing and disorienting his enemies in a hall of mirrors made of pure energy. Yet, for all its offensive might, the Pika Pika no Mi's defensive capabilities are equally formidable. Bullets, swords, even the mightiest of punches, all pass harmlessly through Kizaru's body of light. Only those rare few who have mastered hockey stand a chance of landing a blow on this luminous admiral. In Kizaru's hands, the power of light becomes a force of both creation and destruction, illuminating the vast potential of devil fruits and casting a long shadow over the world of One Piece. With such blinding speed and destructive power at his fingertips, one must ask, why hasn't Kizaru risen to even greater heights in the navy? What hidden depths lie beneath his lazy demeanor? Number 3. Laws Opiope no Mi, the ultimate surgeon's scalpel. What if the world around you was nothing more than an operating table, and you were the surgeon with absolute control? Welcome to the reality of Trafalgar D. Water Law. Step into a world where the laws of physics bend to one man's will. This is the reality created by the Ope Ope no Mi, Op Op Fruit, wielded by the enigmatic Trafalgar D. Water Law. Imagine a spherical space materializing around you, a domain where law reigns supreme, manipulating everything within its boundaries with surgical precision. Picture Law raising his hand, and suddenly, your world turns upside down, literally. Bodies float weightlessly, objects swap places in the blink of an eye, and the very fabric of space becomes Law's playground. This is the power of room, the foundation of the Ope Ope no Mi's abilities. But the true terror of this fruit lies in its medical mastery. Envision Law slicing through his opponents with his Nodachi Kikoku. Yet, instead of blood and gore, you see clean, bloodless cuts as body parts separate and rearrange in mind-bending ways. In Law's hands, dismemberment becomes an art form, incapacitating foes without a drop of blood spilled. The Ope Ope no Mi doesn't stop at external manipulation. Picture Law plunging his hand into an opponent's chest, bypassing skin and bone to directly attack internal organs. His gamma knife technique can shred a foe's insides without leaving a mark on their skin, a truly terrifying prospect for any adversary. In its awakened state, the Ope Ope no Mi transcends its limits. Imagine Law's sword, imbued with the properties of his room, phasing through the toughest defenses to deliver devastating internal damage. Even Yonko-level opponents find themselves vulnerable to the Kroom technique, a testament to the fruit's incredible potential. Yet, the Opi Opi, no Mi's most coveted ability, remains shrouded in mystery, the power to grant eternal youth at the cost of the user's life. This ultimate technique has made the fruit one of the most sought after in the world its value beyond measure. In Law's hands, the op, op no Mi blurs the line between science and sorcery, redefining the limits of what a devil fruit can achieve. As Law continues to push the boundaries of his abilities, we're left to ponder. What are the true limits of the op op no Mi, and at what cost does such godlike medical power come? Number 2. Luffy's Nika Fruit, the Embodiment of Freedom is it possible for a single fruit to embody the very concept of liberation? Monkey D. Luffy's journey suggests that the answer is a resounding yes. Imagine a power so extraordinary, so unpredictable, that it can turn the tide of a war with a single laugh. This is the true nature of Monkey D. Luffy's devil fruit, the Hito Hito no Mi. Model Nika, human human fruit, model Nika. What was once thought to be a simple paramecia type fruit granting rubber powers has been revealed to be something far more legendary. A mythical Zoan fruit embodying the power of the sun god Nika. Picture Luffy in battle, his body stretching and contorting in impossible ways. Punches that extend for miles, legs that propel him skyward like rockets, and a body that bounces back from the most devastating blows. But this is merely the surface of the Nika fruit's true potential. In its awakened state, witness Luffy's transformation into Gear 5th, a form that defies logic and expectation. His hair blazes white, his eyes gleam with mischief, and his very presence exudes joy and freedom. In this form, Luffy doesn't just control rubber, he becomes the embodiment of elasticity itself. Envision Luffy grabbing lightning bolts from the sky and using them as jump ropes, or inflating his fist to the size of an island to deliver a devastating blow. The awakened Nika fruit allows Luffy to manipulate his surroundings as if they were rubber, turning the entire battlefield into his personal playground. 
But the true power of the Nika fruit lies in its ability to bring smiles to people's faces and inspire hope in the darkest of times. Picture Luffy, grinning in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, his laughter infectious, his spirit indomitable. This is the power that has toppled kingdoms, challenged the world government, and continues to shake the very foundations of the One Piece world. In Luffy's hands, the Nika fruit becomes more than just a weapon. It's a symbol of freedom, a beacon of hope, and the key to unlocking the greatest mystery of all, the true nature of the One Piece itself. As Luffy's mastery over his fruit grows, so too does the question. Is the power of the Nika fruit truly about physical abilities, or does its true strength lie in its capacity to inspire and transform the world around it? Number 1. Bonnie's Toshi Fruit, the Mistress of Time and Possibility If you could rewrite the story of time itself and embody the very essence of freedom, would you be the hero or the villain of that tale? For Jewelry Bonnie, this isn't a hypothetical question. It's her earth-shattering reality. Imagine holding the power to not only manipulate age, but to tap into the very fabric of possibility itself. This is the true nature of Jewelry Bonnie's Toshi Toshi no Mi. Age, age fruit. A fruit so versatile and powerful that it defies conventional categorization. At its base level, the Toshi Toshi no Mi allows Bonnie to alter the age of any person, including herself, with a mere touch. Picture a fearsome warrior crumbling into a helpless infant, or a young rookie withering into a feeble elder in an instant. This alone would be a formidable power, but it's merely the tip of the iceberg. The true magnitude of the Toshi Toshi no Mi's power lies in its awakened ability, Distortion Future. This technique allows Bonnie to tap into alternate timelines and possible futures, manifesting powers and abilities that she could potentially have. But the recent revelation of its full capability has shaken the very foundations of what we thought possible for a Devil Fruit user. In a stunning display of power, Bonnie has shown the ability to completely transform into the sun god Nika, mirroring Luffy's gear fifth form. By envisioning the future when she is the most free, Bonnie can access the godlike abilities of Nika, effectively granting her all the powers of the Hito Hito no Mi, model Nika, on top of her already formidable abilities. Imagine the implications, Bonnie retains all her existing powers of age manipulation and timeline distortion, but can now also tap into the reality warping abilities of Gear 5th. Picture her stretching and inflating her body to gigantic proportions, turning her surroundings into rubber and fighting with the unbridled joy and freedom that characterizes Luffy's strongest form. This combination of powers is unprecedented in the One Piece world. Bonnie can manipulate time, alter ages, draw power from alternate futures, and now embody the very essence of freedom and creativity that is Sun God Nika. The strategic possibilities are endless. She could potentially age her opponents into weakness, then unleash the full might of Nika's powers upon them. But the Toshi Toshi, no Mi's potential, extends far beyond combat. Consider the implications of being able to restore youth to the elderly, accelerate the growth of a child, or tap into the wisdom of future selves. In Bonnie's hands, this fruit becomes a tool that could reshape the very fabric of society, challenging notions of life, death, time, and possibility itself. As a possible member of the elusive D-Clan and a potential inheritor of Joy Boy's will, Bonnie's mastery of the Toshi Toshi no Mi may hold the key to unlocking some of the greatest mysteries in the One Piece world. Her ability to manifest as Nika raises intriguing questions about the nature of Devil Fruits, the legacy of Joy Boy, and the true meaning of freedom in this vast world. In the grand tapestry of One Piece, where the impossible becomes possible every day, Bonnie's Toshi Toshi no Mi stands at the pinnacle. It's not just a power over age or time, it's the power to rewrite reality itself, to draw from infinite possibilities, and to embody the very spirit of freedom that drives the entire series. As we contemplate the vast potential of the Toshi Toshi no Mi, we're left with mind-bending questions. In a world where time, age, and even the boundaries between different devil fruits can be manipulated at will, what truly defines the limits of power? How might Bonnie's abilities reshape our understanding of the One Piece world and the nature of devil fruits themselves? And in the final battles that loom on the horizon, how will this unparalleled power tip the scales of destiny? As we reach the end of our journey through the most extraordinary devil fruits in the One Piece world, we're left standing in awe of the sheer magnitude of their power and influence. From the all-consuming darkness of Blackbeard's Yami Yami no Mi, to the time-bending capabilities of Bonnie's Toshi Toshi no Mi, 
These fruits represent more than just incredible abilities. They embody the very essence of what makes One Piece a tale of endless wonder and possibility. But what do you think? Did we miss any devil fruits that you believe deserve a spot in the top five? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your unique perspective might just shed light on an overlooked power that's been hiding in plain sight. Each of these fruits, in its own unique way, challenges our understanding of what's possible. They bend the laws of physics, rewrite the rules of biology, and even tamper with the fabric of time itself. But perhaps their greatest power lies not in their physical manifestations, but in their ability to shape the destinies of those who wield them. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the world of One Piece, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more analyses, theories, and breakdowns coming your way, and you won't want to miss out. Which of these devil fruits would you choose if you had the chance? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to share this video with your fellow One Piece fans. Let's get a real debate going about the most powerful fruits in the series. As we look to the future of One Piece, we can't help but wonder, what other incredible fruits are yet to be discovered? How will these powers continue to shape the fate of the world? And in the end, when the dust settles and the true nature of the One Piece is revealed, what role will these extraordinary abilities play in the final chapters of this epic saga? If you have any theories about undiscovered devil fruits or how these powers might play into the series' endgame, we'd love to hear them. Drop your ideas in the comments, and let's spark some fascinating discussions. One thing is certain, in a world where darkness can swallow light, where time itself can be rewritten, and where the power of a god can be wielded with a laugh, the only limit is the imagination. And in One Piece, imagination knows no bounds. So, as we close this chapter on the top five devil fruits, remember that in the vast and unpredictable seas of the One Piece world, the next bite of fruit could change everything. After all, in a realm where the impossible becomes possible with a single swallow, who knows what incredible powers are waiting just over the horizon. Until next time, keep dreaming big and remember, in the world of One Piece, anything is possible. Slide through Slim Fuji scene for the hype, yeah One Piece theories in the limelight, yeah Hit subscribe, don't miss the ride, no Loyal to the manga, we unify, well Run through pages, Fuji's on the track I'm Dropping reviews down like we won't look back I'm Plot twists, analyzing, theories crack I'm In the One Piece world, we never slack, now. Nah. Come and join the cruise ships, leaving soon That's right Sail through the Grand Line under the moon